Look, a staggering 79% of women report experiencing burnout. The effects can be silent, they can be devastating. Some people isolate themselves, other people self-medicate, and others simply just fall apart. But today we're here with Dr. Stephanie Grunewald, the founder of Ancorio, to learn how to counter these effects and beat burnout so we can live the best life we can. Thank you so much, Doc, for being with and us today. Well, thank you for having Absolutely. me. Absolutely. Well, where did Encorio come from and what was the impetus? Well, in many ways, I actually was my own first client. Oh. Yeah, so to the outside world, I looked successful with my group counseling practice, but the reality is I was completely burnt out. What this meant for me is I was neglecting my health, my relationships, and really my life overall. And even after I realized the toll, I kept doing it. And for me, my wake-up call really came when my mom passed Sorry. away. And that's when I realized I had to do something differently. So that was truly my inspiration for Encorio, and it inspired me to work a little bit differently than I do in my counseling practice. I know it's a silly question, but what is burnout for women? Well, it can mean so many different things for so many people, but often, as you said in the intro, it's really about some people isolate, and a lot of the times we misunderstand it with anxiety or depression, but it's really when you're in a chronic state of stress and you can't function on a day-to-day -day basis. So how do people understand that they have to make more time for themselves in their own day. Well, what I often find is helpful is when I tell people, treat yourself the way you treat everyone else. We always encourage our friends, our families, our spouses, our kids, you fill in the blank, to take care of themselves, and it's about treating ourselves that way. But you know, there are only 24 hours in a day. That's what a lot of people will say, and I don't have time for myself or even for my self-improvement. What do you say to that? The number one reason people give me for neglecting themselves is saying they don't have enough time. But the reality is you can get more hours in the day by being more efficient. Efficiency really helps you by reducing stress and you'll actually be more productive. The key is to prioritize time for yourself. The same way you block out time to take the kids to school or an appointment, you need to block that time out for yourself. Start with just five minutes a day. You can drink your coffee, meditate, or just stare out the window if you're not sure what to do. But the key is just making sure you prioritize time. Yeah, I think most people who claim that they don't have any time to do something like that are really just making excuses because they do have the time. Now you offer uh, executive training, mastermind groups, and reset retreats. What is that all about? Yeah, so I encourage well-being at work by offering trainings where we build resilience by exploring where people get stuck and how to get out of it. The reality is we all know that we're supposed to eat well, get enough rest and move, but we still struggle to do it. So that's where my groups and retreats really are protected time to prioritize yourself and your well-being. Because what I really want for people to understand is that when you build a supportive community and you have somebody holding you accountable, it increases the likelihood of you following through to 95%. This isn't something that you just teach or you preach, you actually live this, correct? This is how you kind of beat the hustle and grind of the day, right? I was able to beat that hustle and grind mentality when I figured out that my self-care is time in nature. And now I prioritize hiking as often as I can and getting outside in whatever ways I can. And what do you think that most women should probably try to figure out for themselves when it comes to those who are struggling with burnout, trying to figure out that me space, what? I mean, what should they do? Well, really what I say is don't wait until it's too late to do something about it. I'm really trying to empower women to understand that prioritizing themselves isn't indulgent or selfish, it's necessary. What gets me sometimes is the fact that rather than have this kind of approach, I'm not knocking the medical field, but somebody else wants to come up with a pill. You don't have to have a pill all the time. I mean, just like you said, taking a walk out in nature. I just saw a report a couple weeks ago talking about the fact that, you know, just spending time in nature, going out and smelling the, the whole saying, smell the roses, you know, can actually uplift you. This would be something that is a forethought, not an afterthought. Exactly. Well, Doc, if people want to get more information, where would they go? They'll go to my website at Encorio.com. Thank you so much for being a part of the show Thank today. You. Really, I really appreciate you being here. I know our viewers do too. And of course, if you want more information from us, you can go to our, our website, thebouncingact.com. We'll see you right after this.